Okay, so problem number 10 is the summation of primes problem. And it looks like this. So it says the sum of all prime numbers below 10 is 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. So these are the prime numbers before 10. Again, remember a prime number is a number that has only two factors, one and itself. And if we sum those together, we get 17. And basically all we have to do is write a function that sums all the prime numbers below n. And the function is called prime summation. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And it's going to take in um, a number n like this. And in terms of the, the uh, testing, I'm just going to say something like result is. And then um, I'm going to do uh, 100 here because that's easier for me to demonstrate. So let's do that. So the first thing we want to do is um, let's see we want to if the first clue right here to get started is that it says the if the we're going to be returning a sum so the first thing we want to do is create a variable sum and we want to basically initialize that to zero and at the end of our function we want to return sum and during our function we'll be editing the sum and we'll be adding um, our values into it so the algorithm that we're going to be using is this one right here, the sieve of Eratosthenes or whatever, it's a Greek one. And um, there is a classic solution that I have in the written guide which um, uses the classic method of uh, going through numbers and dividing them by every number between two and itself. But um, for when it got to like this one with um, two million, it took my computer like an hour and a quarter to do it so it's way too slow so we're going to be using this one which uses a bit of memory so what it basically does is uh, we can see this animation right here it first um, picks out two adds it to the prime numbers list and then removes all the multiples of two so we'll by default we'll have all our numbers available to sum and then it'll find the next one three and it'll pick out all the multiples of three and remove them and then it'll remove all the multiples of five and so on each time we pick a number and remove its multiples, we'll um, basically allow it to be summed. And in the end, we'll, on we'll only have the numbers left that um, uh, we'll just sum basically whatever's in this list right here. So that's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have um, an array of all the numbers that we're going to be summing. And I'm going to call this array to sum. And the first two... And the, and the important thing about this array, by the way, is that each index in the array uh, represents its value. So uh, we're going to just have 0 here. And I'm also going to put 0 into the first index, and you'll see why in a second. And then I'll just have let i. And what I'm going to do oops, is for i equals 2, i is less than um, n or which is the upper limit i plus plus and what all we're going to do is we're going to say array to sum dot push i so the first two values would be zero and zero um in the array and a zero in this in our case rep means that it won't be summed so it just means the alternative of crossing it out of the array and what we essentially do is from 2 to n, which we're doing with 100 to start off with, it'll just basically fill in all the indexes with their number. So we can imagine that it would look something like this. So this is our array of, and these are the 100 blocks in our array. And we'll basically, at index 1, this is supposed to be a 0, by the way, so it's, it counts as crossed out. But um, then we'll have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So index 2 is 2, index 54 is 54, index 79 is 79. And what we're going to be doing is we'll go through each of the indexes between 2 and n. And if it hasn't been crossed out already, then we'll, um, we'll leave that one, but then we'll cross out all of its multiples. So the way we're going to do that is we'll say for um, i equals 2, i is less than n, i plus plus. And remember that I said uh, in terms of crossing out numbers from the array, it's basically we're going to set them to zero. Because when we sum up our array, if we set this to zero, for example, it won't be added. So it's the alternative of like just ignoring it or crossing it out. So the first thing we want to do is check that it's not being crossed out already. So we'll say if array, 
to sum um, i is not equal to 0, then what we want to do is we'll have another variable j to go through all the multiples and we'll say for j equals and the minimum we want to have for j is uh, 2i uh, and then we want to say j is less than n and we want to in increment j by i each time because that's um, the value that, that we're going to find the multiples of and what we want to do basically is say if array to sum j percentage i is equal to zero then um, Actually, I don't think we even need this if statement. We can just go through, this basically just goes through all the multiples and just basically sets them to zero. So what we're essentially just doing is basically just going through each of the multiples and setting them to zero. So I'll just show you how this works. So to start off with, we have i equals two. And um, if we look at array to sum i, so array to sum two, it's not equal to zero, so it hasn't been crossed out yet. And then what we're going to be doing is uh, for if we're going to go from 2 all the way up to n and we're going to go so we're going to go up from uh, that should be 2 times i so we're going to go from 2 times i which is 4 all the way up to um, n which is 100 right here and each time we're going to increment by i which is 2 so we're going to go up by 2 each time and we're going to basically set um, whatever set that index to zero. So we'll start off at four and we'll set that to zero. Then we'll go add two, go to eight and set that to zero. Add two, sorry, go to six and add set that to zero. Add two, go to eight, set that to zero. Um, add two, go to ten and set that to zero. Add two, go to twelve and set that to zero. Add two, go to fourteen, to zero, and so on. So in our prime list, we the first number we start off with is two. Then what we'll do is we'll increment i to the next value, so we'll go move i to 3, and from 2 times 3 onwards, which is 6, we'll basically cross out 6, which has already been crossed out. So this um, this part right here, it doesn't really matter, but it it's already been crossed out, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, then we'll go to 9, which, has, which uh, needs to be crossed out, so we'll cross that out. Then we'll go to 12, which has already been crossed out, then... 15, then um, 18, 21, 24, um, 27, 30. I'll just go up to 30 for this example. So um, with two, we would have crossed out these as well. Okay, so in the next one that we'll go to is um, four. And if we look at four, when i is four, we can see that it is equal to zero. So we'll just skip this. So 4 has already been crossed out. Then we'll go to 5, and we'll go from 2 times 5, which is 10, onwards, and cross out all multiples of 5. So we'll cross out 5, 10, 15 has been crossed out. 20 should have been crossed out with 2, actually. 25, and so on. And then we'll move i to 6, and 6 has already been crossed out, so this part skips over. We'll move on to 7, and then we'll go from 2 times 7, which is 14, and cross out all multiples of 7, so 21, 28, that should have already been crossed out, um, 35, yeah, and so on. So this is how it works. And in the end, what we'll basically have is an array, this array right here, where all the numbers that are not prime have been crossed out, aka replaced with zero. So then what we can just do is basically just sum up all the values in the array. That's, that's it really. So we can say for um, i equals zero, i is less than um, array to sum dot length and i plus plus and um, what we can do here is basically say if um, array to sum i is not equal to zero then we can just add this to our sum so we can say um, console dot log something like added prime Uh, just, this is just for logging purposes, but we can say something like sum is now and then log the sum right here. 
And what we can also do is basically add add the value to sum. So we can say um, it doesn't matter where we do it because if sum is zero, it would just add zero. But we get a sum equals sum plus array to sum i like this. So again, that was a bit complicated, but um, we'll test it out before I start explaining it because otherwise it will look a bit weird. Um, so let's test it out with the value uh, 17, which should return 41. So if I put 17 into here, and then I run this, we can see that we get 41 returned. Okay, so our solution is working. So let's try it with other values. So we can try it with 2001, and that returns 277050. Yep, and then we'll try it with 14059. One four zero seven five nine. Sorry, and let's try running that, and we get this number right here. Okay, so it's working. And the last one we need to test is this two um, million right here. And this is the one that took way too long with the um, other algorithm that I had, um, but this one might be a bit quicker. Yeah, we can see that it's still quite slow. So what we can do here is if we want to make it speed it up a little bit, uh, we can actually just get rid of the logging statements as well. And then as you can see, our result comes out a lot quicker and that is correct. Okay, so we do have a working solution. So I'm just going to go through it again. So first thing we'll do is we'll fill out an array with all the numbers um, up to n in their respective indexes. Then what we'll do is we'll go through each um, we'll go through each uh, element in the array, and if it hasn't been crossed out already, um, we'll leave that number, but we'll cross out all of its multiples. So we'll start from two times whatever that value is, and we'll cross out all of its multiples up to n. And then we'll move on to the next number, and if it hasn't been crossed out already, we'll cross out all of its multiples. Then we'll move on to the next number. And if it has been crossed out already, we'll just keep moving. And then we'll move to the next number, cross out all of its multiples, and so on. And by the end of that, we'll just have an array that's got all the numbers that are not prime crossed out, or in this case, set to zero. And then we can just go ahead and sum all the values in the array together. And basically, all the zero ones just won't be added, and we'll have the summation of our prime, which we can then return. So yeah, uh, in terms of the official solution, it wanted... Um, the answer for 2 million so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in right here and let's also submit our function so let's check the function and if I move that into here um, again I might have forgot to declare a variable or something but yeah that seems to have worked and our solution has been accepted so we can go ahead and submit that and we've also completed the official problem right here. So that's the first 10 problems now completed.